Good morning, folks. It's another morning of coffee and questions. And I had a friend of mine, Vince, send me an email saying, hey, you know, look, I think a lot of these projects and stuff you're putting up are pretty cool. But, you know, one of the things I need is like a stand out in my garage, whether, you know, it's to put a grinder on or a vice or something. I just don't have time and the materials sound costly and, you know, and uh, I'm not going to pick on him, but what's stopping you from doing this and having some fun doing it is yourself, okay? My advice to you, you can go down to the thrift store. Sometimes they're mismatched bed frames, okay? And they're going to throw them out. So for like a couple of bucks, I mean, they'll give those to you or you could just buy a bed frame, I mean, if it's cheap enough. Thrift store is a good place. Bring them home, cut them up into lengths. I've went over this before. You can go to the steel yards or the steel suppliers. Angle iron is not that expensive. It's not. You can go to Lowe's. You can get 2x6s, 2x8s, whatever you want. You can get half-cut sheets of uh, like three-quarter plywood, um, any number of things, I mean, for the top. So it isn't that costly. So let's just take down the obstacle. I mean, it's really not. I mean, what's stopping you is yourself. You, you know, you just need to get out there and start doing it. Now, I'm going to throw up a picture. Yesterday, I had workers over. They were doing some stuff, and I had some time where I was just sitting around really not doing anything but watching them. And I had somebody tell me, hey, we need a freestanding, you know, toilet paper holder. You know, how much would you charge to, uh, you know, to make one for us? So I said, I don't know, like 30 bucks. You know, I mean, I, I could do it fairly fast. And so I went out and did it. Now, they gave me an idea. They wanted it just like on a pole or something. And I added some more to it, okay? Let me throw up a picture and we'll discuss it. Give me one sec and then we'll move on. Okay, so not the best pictures in the world, but you'll see on the right and the left, this is the toilet, the freestanding toilet paper holder that, uh, that I made for them. They're going to use it down at a barn. Anyway, all this is is a piece of uh, pipe that I had, and I welded it to three horseshoes, made the stand. I cut up a couple of horseshoes right down the middle, and I made these hooks on the side. It makes it look like a little cactus, maybe. Or they can use it to hang other stuff on, and then you come up to the top, and it's got the L piece where the toilet paper will sit on there. And then I use a railroad spike. I put a hat and a nut. And I used another set of horseshoes, and I made this like, cowboy-looking thing just to add some decoration to it. So anyway, they came to pick it up. They were more than happy with it. You know, they paid me. And uh, I know downstream, I mean, they'll come back. I mean, I always try to give people more than really what they're asking for when I do these projects. But, you know, anyway, it's up to you. This is when I had just a little bit of free time. I couldn't spend any time during the day. But uh, what's the key? Well, just get up and go start it. And if you don't finish it, you don't. And do a finish it another day. Big thing is to get started. All right, so let's shove all this to the side. Let's start the slideshow. Okay, here we go. Here's the first, like, table you can make for whatever use. It's made the same way I told you, just square steel, and you put a top on it. Here's the one for a vise. This isn't that hard to make. It depends on what parts you have. I'm going to show you. Here's one where they used a wheel. He got it out of a junkyard. It was like a couple of bucks because it was a trashed wheel anyway. Okay, here's another one where it was a wheel. These make good bases. Junkyards will sell you the mismatched ones for almost next to nothing. Okay, and here's how a guy used a piece of an I-beam to create his stand. This is to give you ideas, you know, and then uh, you can go from there. Here's another one with a wheel. This is not hard. and He's got a piece of pipe couple of pieces of plate steel on the bottom this guy put a piece of angle iron and put wheels on it so he could tilt it back because they are heavy and wheel it around there it is right there showing you the bottom after he painted it green and he could just push it and wheel it around easy here's one for the outside here's a couple more a lot of these are made out of old wheel bases which is for vices very easy to make, freestanding. Um, there's one for chop saws, that big rail on the side. I mean, it actually pulls up, fits into the side as an extension. I believe there's a picture in a minute I'll show you. There's a close-up of that arm. It's on the side. It pulls up out of there, and he slides it into the side. This is the way, um, in previous videos, I showed you an easy way to make holders and nuts. He's just showing you how he did it on his saw and what it looks like underneath right here. 
Lots of good pictures. If you want to do something like this, I've got lots of good pictures on here for you. Just copy them, take them out to the garage like I keep saying. I mean, that's what I do. I look at lots and lots of pictures of something, and then I go to build it. Here is a stand where he put the sides on, finally. And the previous one, you know, he was able to pick them up and put them down on the sides like I showed you. Here is a way he made holders. I thought this was a really, really good way to do this. It's a little time-consuming, but it's real cool the way he did it. You can see here it's adjustable that way. The materials aren't much. It's just taking time and doing it. And if you take one of these pictures, you can do it. Here's a simpler one. It does the same thing. Here's one he put an electrical outlet box on his. These are all very inexpensive things to go buy, and you can um, you know do it yourself. There's another shot of it. And another shot, this is with the extension table part of it. Okay, now this guy put four receptacles on his. I don't know if I would do that, but I mean, he must have had a reason, but you could. There's a way they just took rod, welded it on there after it was bent at 90 degrees for the cord to wrap around. Shows it going to the box. He put another one on the front. He can put his uh, blades on there. Okay, here's one of a grinder, very simple, plate steel, piece of pipe. It goes down to a wheel, I believe. Yeah, there it is. This is how he made the wheel. Now, he put these on there. It's like a steel reinforced thing because he's going to pour concrete into there. There, Yeah, there's the picture. Okay, now he poured concrete into it just to make it heavier, make it more sturdy so it doesn't vibrate. Here's a guy. He just made it out of plate steel, drilled holes. The idea was to eventually anchor it in the ground. Okay, here's a close-up shot of how he did the base of it up near where the, uh, the tool is, the grinder, or what have you. Okay, here's another one. Very simple, just plate steel, tube steel. Okay, here's another one. He put a couple of, uh, a couple of rods where he could put his tools in there. And the base is a little bit different on this one right here. Um, a little bit more time-consuming to weld all those all those plugs and grind them but it looks good here's another one he put it on roller so he's able to move it all around his shop i thought that was clever because if you're like me in a garage you got to be able to move stuff around here's um one where somebody just did a simple one got some harbor freight wheels put them on there now this is just showing you a braking mechanism um it's not something i've ever done but you can buy those out at harbor freight too put them on here's that simple stand again let's stop it and Okay, that is it for the ideas on chop saws, vices, stands, all this kind of stuff. Look through a bunch of them. Take the ones that I threw up there if you like them. Figure out how you want to modify it. But the steel's not expensive. And look, you don't got to knock it out in a few hours. Go out there and work on it just a little bit at a time as you have time. And maybe somebody wants you to make them one. You make a few bucks in the process. I made 30 bucks just hanging around, I mean, doing nothing. I had the day off anyway. I'm not trying to make a living doing this, but if somebody pops up because I have the tools, you know, I'm not trying to charge them 80 and $100 an hour. So, you know, I make something, I just give it to them. I, you know, I get back my cost of materials plus a little bit. I'm good, you know. So, all right, that's it for this video. I'm going to let you go. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you hit subscribe. Bye-bye.